You hear that, folks? That is, means it's after five and it's the weekend and I'm going to celebrate early like you may. I'm not sure you're going to celebrate the same way as I am with a little drink of Patron here. Anyway, this is Brian Kuzmar from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in normally sunny Lauderdale by the sea. And I show you a picture of that, but not so sunny today. And uh, my guy tells me that I'm better off showing sunny days. However, here's a nice sunny day just down the road from us at the inlet. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of people out on the water this weekend with the 4th of July. And this is Hillsborough Inlet just south of me. I am right up here somewhere as we speak talking to you in one of these buildings in this little sparse area. Not exactly sure. In Lauderdale by the sea. So, kind of let's move along here and we'll move to the spot prices for the follow-up. I don't think New York markets are open tomorrow at all. And uh, let's see, world markets are still open right now, currently 1776. But let's take a look and see what New York closed at. 1784. So it was up today. I was a little suspicious that we might have a down day or just a sideways day. So I, I was kind of wrong on my suspicions on the next day. But I don't like to predict short term. Neither should you. Uh, listen to short-term predictions because you you have a 50-50 chance of being wrong or right. I'm not even sure if it's 50-50. Here nor there, uh, it's tough to do. Uh, but just with everything going on, I suspect it would be uh, down a little bit, especially given that the jobs reports were uh, better than expected. So <clears throat> anyways, let's kind of finish up here. 1759 being the low today in New York, 1784 being the high. So quite a little spread there here. Uh, and again, this morning it was looking like what I said it was going to be, just a down day, but it closed really strong. I think I might know why. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Silver, 1824, up strong, too, uh, in New York again. Uh, in 1781, the low, 1824, the high. Uh, aftermarkets are still open, world markets. And they look like they're a little bit down from where New York is, so that's kind of hard to read right now what that reads in for tomorrow. Probably going to be a little weak tomorrow, I would bet you, but we're not open. New York, I believe, is closed. New York markets are closed. We here at uh, Commercial Rare Coins are closed. Um, and I believe the world market will be open tomorrow. But because New York is closed, I would suspect that these prices will be a little bit weaker and uh, a little bit lower or about the same as where they are right now. They're probably settling right where they will be tomorrow, even though we won't be here. and There will be no report tomorrow. And let's take a look. That's about the same thing in world markets. And let's take a look and see what's going on out here. Uh, oh, this was very interesting. The job reports came out a little bit early, and uh, uh, it looked really good, except when people started looking at the data, they were thinking, as uh, Zero Hedge points out here, and again, Zero Hedge, people have different views on it, but I think if you read between the lines and certain things, it's a good place to look as well. So job data officially broken. More people getting unemployed benefits than there are unemployed workers. The data is very skewed, so I think that puts some doubt in people after the job data came out. Because if you remember, goal was at 1759 when they reported that jobs were up, what, 4 million or something like that. And uh, uh, shortly thereafter, I think the word has get, gotten out or people are realizing that uh, perhaps the numbers just don't make sense. Uh, take a look here in this little quote right here. There are 19.29 million workers receiving unemployment insurance. And yet, somehow, at the same time, BLS represented that a total number of unemployed workers is a Dremel 17.75. So how can you have an unemployment of 17.75 million people when you have 19.29 million people receiving unemployment benefits? Big disparity there, folks. Something is not right. I'm not quite sure if it's an error that will be offset next month or whatever. But again, just doesn't make sense. So... Uh, Let's take a look at the Wall Street Journal, because as I always say, I like to kind of look there, see if there's any kind of black swans or events that might move precious metals over the weekend <clears throat> or, on, you know, when it opens on Monday in New York. Let's take a look. Job growth picks up, but virus, blah, 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 blah. Really kind of the same old, same old. Uh, and again, as we've been talking about, I, I'm not a stock expert, but the Dow seems to be kind of just like in that flat line area, that 25,000 uh, point area. So not really moving up or I guess it's a, it is moving up and down a little bit but it just seems to be sideways overall so that's really about it um, this is Brian Kuzmar from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale by the Sea I hope that you have a wonderful 4th of July weekend enjoy it the best you can 
And uh, we will be here on Monday open again, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. is our store hours. You can call us anytime at 954-493-8811. We're a full-service precious metal and rare coin and currency store. So keep us in mind on that stuff. And again, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to uh, here have a toast for you on 4th of July, our Constitution and our Independence. And I'll pour a little half shot of Patron, as you can hear. I'll do a little click of the glass here, and my bottle and my little glass here. And uh, cheers to you folks. Have a wonderful weekend.